Hello again, how are you? This is JP, and once again, coming to another episode of Drop the Hammer, when I talk about things that matter to me, things that are important to me, and most likely are important to you too. That's the reason why you're watching. But yeah, I want to talk about in this last episode of Drop the Hammer when I'm talking about San Diego Comic Con after, like I said before, all the dust has settled. Everything is said and done. We have seen and we still continue to see more videos popping out on, on YouTube and a lot of uh, visuals and comments and images everywhere in different websites. Uh, I want to discuss it. And this uh, last episode of talking about it, I want to talk about the more low-end uh, action figures. Uh, and some of them, they're, you know, in, in the average price. Because I know a lot of my followers uh, uh, are not only uh, the statue collectors. I have a lot of people that, you know, they that you live on a more strict, uh, you know, budget. And, you know, it's, that's okay. I used to do the same thing uh, when I was younger. Um, so I understand uh, the premises of it. So I want to discuss that because I even know a lot of people, older people, that they prefer to uh, collect action figures. And definitely, San Diego Comic Con is a place where you can go and you can see the big companies bringing the best of their stuff. And there's a lot of surprises and a lot of upcoming news and a lot of things that are popping up. And then definitely, they're worth to check out. Always Bandai brings a lot of stuff, and especially uh, they were on an area where they had Bluefin Tamashinations that actually, Tamashi, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry for my Japanese friends. But definitely, um, they have a, uh, you know, they, they brought out different companies, and they always have on display a lot of things, and they have, Tamashi has actually the rights to distribute a lot of things in the United States. Uh, Bandai, you know, Bandai has been in business for so many years. I used to, when I was a kid, even play with Bandai toys. Never really liked Bandai stuff. Uh, because the quality was the cheapest you can find back then. Uh, still, I think they still have that reputation. But they do, as a company, produce a lot of stuff that actually is more reachable and manageable for a lot of people. And of course, they got the, the SH Figure Arts, uh, they got the Tennis Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff, you know. Uh, definitely, they had it on display, pretty cool, especially on the arcade version. They had the Shredder. It's very cool to see those things, you know, it really brings me to my childhood when I used to enjoy having these little toys um, and put it this, making these little displays. Uh, they got, of course, the, some uh, exclusives like the Super Saiyan Broly, if you're like a, a fan of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, they have other things, they got the Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn and Joker figures, uh, Bandai House of the Dark Knight, Batman and Joker. Uh, definitely got that, a lot of Naruto uh, figures. Uh, Power Rangers stuff, you're into that. I was always, always hit Power Rangers. Maybe some of you might just dislike this coming, but I never liked this show. I don't know how in the world it became so popular. The fun part of this is that even though I didn't like the show, I always watch it. I don't know why, I just watch it. And maybe just I was in love with the pink Power Ranger, even though I was older, you know, I was not a kid. It was in the 90s. Uh, I don't know, it was sometimes there was nothing else to watch. So I watched it, you know, blame me for that, hate me for that. But yeah, we also have, uh, they also press storm collectibles, and I've been looking uh, on this company a lot, you know. Like I said before, I'm not a, a figure collector, but I do have figures, and I should start reviewing more of my figures, uh, and I'm going to do that, actually, I'm planning to do that. Uh, but yeah, the storm collectibles, they, they especially, they're doing a lot of stuff, uh, especially for Street Fighter. Uh, I think storm collectibles, they're from Hong Kong, uh, Hong Kong, and, and they, they, they had Street Fighter figures, definitely, with a full of detail, interchangeable parts. Love it. They got Mortal Kombat stuff, really looking phenomenal. They had some Bruce Lee figures. Uh, and they also, I didn't mention this in my previous video about statues, they also have some like Hulkmany statues. And they have all their older figures, like, you know, NBA characters. Uh, they have some stuff from Mike Tyson. They have a bunch of stuff. Definitely phenomenal. I think it's a company that we need to look at. And a lot of the stuff that they have actually has been um, digitally sculpted by uh, Hive um, Studios and actually they do a lot of stuff for XM Collectibles. So definitely there's a partnership they're going on so I'm looking forward to what Storm Collectibles is going to bring. Uh, they also brought stuff from X Plus uh, Toys. Uh, a lot of stuff, they had a lot of statues, actually little statues for Mega Man, uh, all Dragon Ball statues, definitely pretty cool looking. Uh, definitely looking forward to what they have. Uh, at DC Collectibles. Definitely, you cannot put DC collectibles out of this. You know, they're also besides the statues, they have a big following with their action figures, and especially the DC icon stuff. They get a lot of stuff. Um, they just slashed the new 52. Like always, DC changes things, and now a lot of the stuff they have, they're gonna just produce a lot of stuff for the rebirth thing. Then reality, you know, I just don't even keep up with stuff nowadays. I just wait until I see reviews and I start reading later on if I wanted to. Uh, but they have Superman, Batman animated series. Uh, definitely 
uh, uh, Superman animated series was the, the highlight in the sense that they just start walking, they're going to have a set um, um, uh, where you're going to get, in this case, Lewis Lane and, and, uh, and also Batman, Clark Kent, all together. I'm really looking forward to this. I don't know, for some reason, I love it. I love those shows, grow, you know, watching them when I was younger. Uh, I really loved them, you know, they definitely represent the characters well. Bruce Timm was pretty much magic when it comes about doing stuff like that. Uh, they got the Batwing, they got a set with actually with the Batman also comes with, and Robin comes with the light, uh, the bat light. Definitely love that. Uh, and of course, something that they, they, they're starting now with the bombshell being so popular, they're going to start producing action figures. Uh, I know some, some people will love that kind of stuff. Um, Definitely, that's DC collectibles. Is their diamond select? You know, they always bring a lot of figures, Marvel stuff, all this stuff. But the ones that I'm really looking forward are the Muppet figures, and of course, if they want to continue on with the the stuff they're doing, go Ghostbusters. Uh, but the Muppet figures, uh, definitely really like it. You know, I grew up watching the Muppets, and I loved the show. It was a fantastic show, and I'm happy that they, you know, at least they get in some love from one some place. The Four Horsemen design, you know, definitely they have their own design. They've been involved in so many designs for so many companies, for so many action figures. But they bring their own stuff and they have their own take of things, their own personal designs. And definitely they have some cool action figures, cool ideas. Uh, I really love what they do. Hasbro, as always, is there. You got the Marvel Legends stuff, you know. Um, not really a fan of much of the Marvel Legends stuff, but you know they got Dazzler, they got the Punisher based on the on the TV show, Jessica Jones, definitely pretty cool. If I was into action figures, I would definitely get into this more, um, definitely. I like the Deadpool 12 inches, and for some reason I like it, and I saw a review of uh, the, the Spider-Man, they're going into the 12 inches figure, into the bigger route of action figures. And definitely, um, Deadpool is pretty cool. Definitely fantastic. Has a lot of details, a lot of little added bonuses. Uh, I really kind of got. Uh, I've been looking into the Star Wars, the Black Series, and definitely they reveal five figures: the Lando Calrissian, uh, Tusken Raider, uh, Raider uh, Royal Guard, the Red One, uh, uh, King John Jinn, and they also have Hera from the Rebel ser uh, series. Phenomenal. For some reason, I, I was actually the other day at Walmart, and I was going to their toy section. And they have all the black series. They got the smaller black series, but they got these bigger pieces. And they were pretty affordable. And I'm thinking, man, this looks phenomenal. They have a lot of detail for the price. Uh, less than $20, you get a really good figure. And you can build a display. You can build, you know, if you want to go into the route of, you know, Hot Toys, you know, it's going to take you forever. You have to have a monumental stadium to have all this set up. But if you have something smaller, I'd rather have the 6-inch uh, figures. And definitely, you can make some displays because I love this place. And, and definitely something that I, I will, I'm probably going to look into at some point. Uh, I really like what they're doing. Um, definitely, I was very surprised and pleased, you know, pleased. And actually, those little figures, they have a lot of great detail. Uh, and that's phenomenal. Um, they also have the exclusive. They have the Kylo Ren, the Obi-Wan Kenobi, Logan, those were the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. They also promoted the Star Wars. Uh, some people call this AT. ACT. If you are old timer like me, you say A I act. You know that's what you say because back in the day you didn't use now the 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 you know like nowadays everybody call it the AT the at, at you know that's what we call it back then. Now it's the ATAT. -AT. It's all terrain vehicles things. You know all the walkers. You know you can just call it a walker. They 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 they, they uh, revealed that for the smaller figures. You know, even though I don't collect figures, and they're more like toys to me in many ways, everything is a toy anyway. But what I'm saying is that I really felt cool. I was thinking, man, I wish I was a kid again when I was collecting Star Wars figures. This would be one of the coolest times just to be a kid. Uh, I'm definitely, they doing it. Uh, they re definitely Hasbro is doing, you know, it's pleasing fans with that. Uh, Haya Toys, uh, I didn't know much about this company, but I saw that they have a lot of the small figures, alien and marine figures, and they look pretty cool. Uh, they have, uh, you know, they have that uh, franchise. They have the rights for that property. Uh, but uh, they, they have a power loader, look phenomenal. Uh, and I love the APC. That's the actually the big, the vehicle, the vehicle that they use in, um, and and Aliens Two, and then Aliens Three, and also you see in, in the video game, phenomenal, definitely phenomenal. Uh, I, the detail of that vehicle, the paint detail, it blows all the details of all the figures that have done all the terrain, all the vehicles that have been done for this, uh, up, you know, out the water. It's just definitely phenomenal. I like when I see things like this. This caught my eye. And the one thing I love, I love small things with a lot of detail. And 
I love the small little detail with any type of thing, whether it's statues or action figures, and definitely had toys surprise me in that end. And they, they mentioned they also have an upcoming Predator license. So, you know, they might be competing, competing with NECA, we'll see. Mattel, you know, uh, there were some sad news about Mattel that they are actually, they, you know, they pretty much got rid of the, the, the in this case, Maddie Collector, the rights for, um, you know, in this case, not that they, they just, they, they pass it along to Super 7. They just don't want to deal with uh, Match to the Universe anymore or even with the Thundercats line. They, even though they still deal with, they, they hold the rights for Thundercats line. Uh, so, uh, but in the meanwhile, they, they have a lot of stuff like always, you know, they have their own DC Multiverse figures. You can find them on, at Walmart, all that. Uh, I was not really surprised with Mattel, I can be honest with you. Uh, you know, I love Mattel growing up as a kid, you know, with toys. I love Mattel always, but I don't know. It's just some decisions they have made, even with Maddie Collector, that have kind of have left a really bad taste in my mouth about the company as a whole. Also, McFarlane Toys. Uh, as you know, I'm a fan of McFarlane. You know, in reality, McFarlane, I, I, would, I would say that probably they're responsible for a lot of the changes in this industry. It was one of the first ones to create action figures that were more than just action figures. Uh, and they were more into collectible little statues and a lot of people got into collecting because of them and they seem to go back there they're going back into it I love what in this case what they're doing they had a lot of figures there the Walking Dead Assassin's Creed uh, Gears of War 4 uh, they have also some uh, figures for the upcoming Titanfall 2 video game uh, definitely love Titanfall and, and the one that really touched my heart the one that really caught my eye and I was very happy is the Spawn we haven't seen a statue or a figure of Spawn in, in years and we have Spawn Rebirth, uh, and the best part of it is the affordable price. Of course, these are PVC figures, uh, but definitely it's it's just not really big. It's probably seven nine inches. It's not big, but definitely even at that scale, it's going to be a really looking, right nice looking piece. And maybe I get back into Spawn stuff. Uh, and definitely love it. It comes in a series, a color series, where they actually they they releasing one important character, one is important sculpture for different franchises. So it's a it's a cool idea. It's a cool concept. Hopefully. It, you know, it takes off and it brings more little, more, more cool stuff. But I'm very happy for that. Well, you know, in this case, uh, MacFarlane is doing Mesco toys. Definitely, Mesco is doing some fantastic stuff. They have um, Mesco has you know the the different figures, the Marvel one one twelve. They're doing all the one twelve stuff, uh, full of detail. Uh, they have Marvel figures. They have the DC figures, uh, uh, Star Trek, uh, Ghostbusters. They have some cool stuff. Uh, Judge Dredd. Uh, definitely, Mesco is doing. Mesco is really doing some stuff. Uh, I wish they could do more stuff, and they have a, a, a exclusive for um, Tigra for Thundercats. Hopefully, and the, they can continue the line. Like I said before, uh, that's, I'm hoping I'm crossing my fingers for that. Um, NECA. NECA really surprised me. The thing that really the highlight for me for NECA was the Tennis Mutant Ninja uh, Turtles movie. Uh, the one for scale figures. They were phenomenal. I was loving it. I, I'm thinking I'm going to get into that line. I'm just going to get those figures because they look fantastic. The movie is my favorite of all the Tennis Mutant Ninja Turtles they have produced. But just the detail on those figures, it was fantastic. Uh, they got Batman Returns. Uh, they got the Penguin and Catwoman figures also in the one for scale. They got Deadpool. Definitely love the Deadpool that they offer. Uh, better than what Hasbro is doing. Uh, I love it. The NECA does fantastic figures. Uh, they got also Marvel stuff, DC stuff. They got, of course, the Predator, like the line they always use, Predator and Alien action figures. Uh, and of course, they got the NECA, the RK Tennis Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, San Diego Comic Con figure set. Phenomenal. The NECA always kills it with all the figures that they offer. Uh, they also have a Square Enix and uh, Play, Play Our Sky. Uh, they, have, uh, they didn't have much this time, but they have a Wolverine and a Deadpool. Of course, you know they Play Our Sky figures. Um, they're more stylized. Uh, they were not painted. But definitely, it's a cool concept, especially Deadpool. That's the one I kind of think I like the most. Uh, Deadpool is getting a lot of love, a lot of good stuff. And of course, they got some uh, Batman variants, a little monster type of vampire stuff. You know, not crazy about that stuff. But you know, Square Enix does a lot of that stuff, uh, Play Our Sky. Uh, and I think lastly, I think Super 7. The news that Super 7, this company is taking over uh, the Matic Collector, no, what well, Matic Collector was doing with the, the Moto Classics. Uh, and the uh, filmation style, uh, you know, uh, Masters of the Universe uh, action line. Uh, there was an interview, and I'm going to have a link for that, uh, in this case with um, 
uh, with uh, uh, Pitzel Dan, uh, and I really love it. I really they they get, got into detail. They say what was the, they they really answer so many questions about what they're doing, what's the plan, uh, what is to come, and I'm definitely looking forward to to that because I definitely want to get into it. Particularly, I would like to see for this for all for them to reach a lot of figures, figures that I don't have. And the Matic Collector, uh, Mattel, really didn't tackle. They reissued some, they didn't reissue all. And some of those are very popular, and they're popular characters. And the only way to find them is if you go on eBay, and the prices are outrageous. You know, in my mind, I'm thinking, if this figure, you pay maybe $30 the most, you know, for it. And now people want to, you know, to pay $300 for a figure. I'm a collector, yes. You know, I collect statues and statues can go up in price, but to me it's unthinkable, you know, why many that. And the way they were doing the pre-order feet, you know, the way that the Mattel had the pre-order system was to me was wrong. They have a system where, you know, people could just pre-order 10 out of the gate, you know, and then people couldn't even get there. When you try to go there in five minutes or less than five minutes, everything was gone and people were buying in multiple numbers just so they can scalp and sell for more. Uh, to me, that was a bad system. They should have uh, something in place where they just allow people to buy up to a certain amount of money. I would say maybe the most two, but when people are doing that multiples and they have people already hooked into the system and they already, they, they have a, a number for this set for this and this and that, to me, that was bad business. And you know, it happens. I've seen it in the collective world. I've seen them doing in the past with, you know, even people were doing all that kind of crazy stuff in other websites, even with Pop Culture Shock, even with SciShow in the past. Uh, thankfully, we don't see that kind of stuff. Uh, no, as much as we used to, of course, you know, they have a bigger run numbers. But in my opinion, it's this. If this action figures, uh, the, you know, the addition sizes are extremely big, why do we have the same problem? Um, definitely, that's something that left a, a bad taste in my mouth with the Maddie collectors and a lot of stuff they did. So hopefully with Super 7, even though they're new and they're hungry and they want to do a lot more, they continue on. They say they want to continue the same quality. You can look at Pixel Dan video, and I'm gonna have the link, and you can find out more for uh, for yourself from that uh, interview. But definitely, really looking forward. There was a lot of great stuff, of course. Maybe I'm missing a lot more stuff, but you know, this is so far what I've seen that really caught my eye, and I'm definitely looking forward to it. So now, tell me, what is it that you really like about the action figures or collectibles in general? What are the things that really caught your eye on the San Diego Comic Con? I'm definitely, I, I like to hear your comments. I like to uh, to respond to any questions you may have and uh, just let me know maybe you want to correct me maybe made a mistake in one of my comments or or, or maybe you have a, a completely different opinion of mine so just share your thoughts and uh, I'll be glad to interact with you on that so once again thank you for watching this video don't forget to support this channel follow me on Facebook follow me on all my different places where I spend my time like you know Instagram and uh, I'll talk to you in the next video thank, once again thank you my friends